it's that time of year to really contemplate once more the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus of Nazareth, the one we Christians confess to be the Christ, the Messiah, the Anointed One of God. This year in particular, I am drawn to one person in this long narrative, Simon. Simon the Outsider. Simon the African. Simon of Cyrene. Simon whose name means he has heard. He seems, at least to me, to be the only person in the story that really gets it. He actually lives the calling that each of us are given by Jesus himself to take up the cross and to follow him. As Jesus was judged and sent to die, Simon carried the cross to the place of the skull. Jesus' friends had all abandoned him. One of his own, Judas, had betrayed him. Peter, his best friend probably, denied him three times. And the women, though they are present, looked on from a distance. But it's Simon who takes up that cross and follows Jesus wherever it might lead. I want to be Simon. I want to be like Simon. And all of us are called into that same vocation to bear the cross in the world, wherever it leads. Often we think of others like Judas as betrayers. Too often Christians have betrayed the Jewish people for the death of Jesus, or we in a modern world look back on first century Rome and say, ah, it was their corrupt politics that did it. Or maybe even we look to the disciples and say, well, if I was there, I certainly would have done better. But we, we know that's not true. We aren't Simon. We are his betrayers. Too often, too, we are his deniers. We have opportunities to bear the cross in the world, to stand up for what we believe in, to fight for the outsider, to see Jesus in the least of these. And instead, when we are asked, aren't you with him? We deny him. Unfortunately, it's not all up to us. Jesus invites us to take up the cross and follow him, but he is the one that bears the cross for all. And just like Peter, you and I join him on the beach. Where Jesus asks, well, do you love me? Yeah, Lord, I love you. And feed my sheep. Do you love me? Yeah, Lord, you know I love you. Tend my lambs. Do you love me? Yes, Lord, more than anything, you know that I love you. Then feed my sheep. That's our calling. To bear new life in Jesus. Forgiven. Alive. Risen from the dead. Given this cross to bear that is not just a symbol of death, betrayal, denial, suffering. But it is the symbol of resurrection. The new life we are promised to answer the question, do you love me? And say, yes, Lord. Feed Christ's sheep. That's for us to bear. And for people like Simon to teach us. Peace be with you. And happy Easter.